Okay guys, a good place to stop again. So, I didn't want to just drag you through like the whole where Enoch is, you know, going before the kingdom, but I highly recommend you get this, um, Christopher Glynn is the narrator of this book, and this is the best version, really, of the Book of Enoch that I have found online. Um, I've got the narration turned off just so not to distract and also so we could just focus. Um, but he has a very nice voice, and if you want to just get the audiobook and listen, to the narration before you go to bed. It's it's a lot easier than reading, especially once you have a background and you know what's going on. But I did want to just touch on here a little bit in this verse because many people don't understand the difference between fallen angels and demons. And as you notice in all of this, there have been no um, entities called demons prior to now, and they're referring to them as evil spirits. So, to recap, we know the fallen angels bred their seed with human women, created these giants, but not only giant people, giant hybrid creatures, in the sea, in the air, on the earth. They, they bred with everything, which is why the Most High had to shut this down and put in some new rules and destroy them. However, during the flood, when the Nephilim hybrids were destroyed, they didn't go to heaven. They didn't go to hell. The Most High trapped them earthbound in a different dimension, living parallel to ours, where they are just tortured evil spirits and demons. And that is why there is a hierarchy of demons as well, because the evil spirits came out of, you know, everything, you know, dinosaurs, titans giant, you know, pterodactyls, whatever, you know. So when they were destroyed, they all became an evil spirit, earthbound. That, along with the fallen angels, Azazel headed right into the lake of fire when he gets released. These things are going in there also. So demons are male, these demons and they are called evil spirits. So when we're trying to identify the differences, the fallen angels are the fathers, the giants, the Nephilim hybrids were the children, and the demons and the evil spirits came from the death of the wicked children. So that's where we get our demons, and that's why we have all types of demons, like huge ones, big ones, small ones, you know, because we had so many hybrids. So there's a whole plethora of demons and evil spirits. So that's where demons come from. And if you've ever heard of mermaids and sirens, those are the mothers of the Nephilim children. The women that bore the giants, when they were destroyed in the flood, they became sirens and mermaids, sea demons, 